Hello, this is Shelby. Welcome to day 19 of the 31 Days of Halloween 3 Challenge. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, day 19. So, we're at a pivotal point in my own personal journey through this movie. And that is, tonight is the last time that I'll be able to watch this movie, or have watched this movie, in the comfort of my own home for five days. I will be on the road uh, on, on a trip, a hunting trip, and I'll be watching Halloween 3 from an iPad primarily, uh, unless I can figure out a way to hook it up to the TV, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, so, enjoying my last full screen viewing for a while, uh, and also coming with that, the logistical challenge of editing and uploading these videos from a primarily mobile format. I don't think I'm going to take my laptop. I may decide to change my mind at the last minute, but I really hate taking laptops through airport security because, like, it's just another thing to unpack and I carry way too many electronics anyway. So I'm going to attempt to roll with my iPad that's also holding the movie and make it do double duty. <laughs> I said duty. But... We'll see. I haven't decided, but it may not, the next four or five videos may not look quite the same as these have with the nice polished borders and the frame and all that good stuff, but we'll see. I'll try my best. Moving on to the content of today, I was just kind of like wondering if Dan Chalice is just a tightwad cheap ass or if he's legitimately in financial distress because of his uh, alcoholism and there's a couple couple of points that I make on this or a couple observations you can make on this um, he seems to cheap out when it comes to buying the masks for his kids he clearly brings home some crappy uh, you know like this one string in the back like those plastic masks that you can't breathe out of uh, and then that's when Linda informs him that she's already gotten the kids' masks, and they have, of course, the far superior silver shamrock masks. So that's like case one, like right off the bat, like right after the whole incident at the hospital, he comes home from, or I'm sorry, this is before the incident at the hospital, he comes home and brings his crappy masks home. He's drinking out of a flask. Now, like Linda's house is pretty, pretty sweet, and I'm assuming that that's her place and that Dan doesn't live there. Uh, you never really get any idea of where Dan lives because he ends up being at the hospital the entire time and then heading on to Santa Mira with Ellie. So it's curious. I wonder what Dan's bachelor pad, like what condition that's in. When he gets to the hotel, oh, sorry, before that, he calls from a payphone uh, and he has just one six pack of, uh, of Miller High Life. Uh, again, not very expensive. Is that what he could afford, or is that what he wanted? We don't know. It seems like he definitely prefers hard liquor based on the scenes in the bar and the fact that he's got a flask in his jacket. So it's another interesting uh, uh, anecdote there. It's like he also drives part of the way, I'm assuming. Um, so just he's an irresponsible dude, but the, the, the alcohol choice is interesting, and that's kind of going back to our alcohol discussion session as well. But... Then when he gets to Santa Mira, he has no problem dropping down the 40 bucks for, I'm assuming they're paying for two hotel nights, um, which is a, a very, you know, that was a good amount of money back in the day when they were filming this, early 80s, 40 bucks. But he doesn't seem to have any problem dropping that cash, but of course he's also on the prowl for, uh, for Ellie, so obviously when you're... When you got a woman on your brain, you don't think straight either, just to be quite honest. Um, so that's interesting. He doesn't have any problem dropping that down. But then when he goes to the, um, he, there's no, they don't show the 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 liquor store or market or wherever the hell he buys this stuff at. It shows him leaving it. But obviously they don't have labels in the bottles because they didn't want to pay for you know product placement or have to cover them up and make them look crappy but the liquor that he buys and then he gets the homeless guy to take a, a pull off of it's just a, it's just like a opaque brown bottle there's no label so 
I would just assume based on the generic uh, appearance of it that he just bought some bottom shelf like liquor just to get the job done, which again points to is he buying it just to sustain his habit or is he actually picking what he wants because he can afford it? I'm starting to think he was just he was just drinking whatever he could get his hands on at the price he could afford. Um, so that's just interesting thought that I kind of had. I, I you know I, we'd observed in pre in a previous viewing like the types of liquor he was drinking, but I didn't really pay attention to like the price points or the name brands. And I just wonder. I just wonder if he has so grossly mismanaged his money as a doctor through his divorce and whatever Al money he has to pay Linda and, and child support for kids. And he's obviously playing a very poor role as a father for his children in at least this snapshot that we get of his life. And yeah, I mean, like he's, he's drinking on the job. He's sleeping at work because he doesn't get to go home. What's his, what's his situation, man? And I, I think I pointed this out in a very early day was like, man, he really was like at a low point in his life. Like this, this little arc that Dan Chalice gets to try to do something to try to stop Silver Shamrock is like the most positive thing that's happened to him in what seems to be a very long time. We're just dropped into the end of his sad story. And yeah, it's kind of a bummer, really, honestly. So he is. I, I think I said it before that he's a tragic figure, and that kind of reinforces that, in my in my opinion. But hey, that's just my day 19 thoughts. Day 20 through 20. I might be able to record 25 when I get back. I'll have to see what time looks like. Um, but the next, next five days are going to be posted on the road. So they may look a little bit different, but they're going to be on this page, God willing. Uh, if I have the bandwidth to upload them, I will be editing them, filming and editing them anyway on each day. If I end up having to release all five of them the day I get back, so be it. But there will be content. I will stay faithful. Uh, we are almost through this, but I'm going to be sad to see it go. But I may be running out of things to talk about by day 31. Even though there's like an infinite wealth of things, I, I might really start delving into some conspiracy theories. So get ready for things to get weirder than they already have. So thanks for joining me. Day 19. Let's see what comes. We only have 11 more, no, 12 more days till Halloween. So stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay spooky.